just for a minute. See what was coming in. How you doing, Matthew? I'm just going to share this with a couple of people, and then we're going to get started here. There we go. How you doing, Eddie? I'm actually doing a mail call, and I'm going to shave tonight. talking about some brushes um, this is actually one of my first brushes it was from craving shaving it's got the duro knot in it and man I'm telling you I don't know why people don't talk a lot about them duro knots because they got good backbone and they're soft um, this one here is before he started putting the coins in this one here is a craving shaving this one I actually got and I put my own knot in it because I wanted a red knot. I don't know if you can see that or not. I like the look of that. And it's actually got the coin in the bottom. Now his coins are smaller than the brush I'm going to use tonight. Part of my mail call is a Wild West Brushworks brush. Um, my buddy Joel Crager, he, uh, he sent me this. He got it for me for Christmas. Now if you look at the coins in those, there's a big difference um, and actually I like the smaller coins that way if you wanted to go you know taper down the ends you can and that's part of the reason why he done them like that um, the newest one that I got of his and it's got a boss knot in it too I put a boss knot in it I love that man I like how the I mean that's like a purple color but you really can't see it you can on the bottom, but without the light hitting it, you can't see that color running through there. I love it, man. He, uh, like I said, it, I got four of his brushes. I do like them. I like them a lot. Um, this one here is one that I made, a wooden one that I made, that I'm fixing to send out. The knot ain't glued in it yet, but um, I'm fixing to send this one off. But I just got that one done. I got a couple more wooden ones done, and I'm working on a resin one right now. Um, the soap I'm going to be using is the orange what the puck, and then the aftershave. This Joel sent me this a while back too, and uh, the razor I just got off of him is the Bakelite slant open comb, and look at that blade. <laughs> that is that's the blade there buddy and he told me he said Scott you'll like this he said because you fill a lot of blade gaps so uh, you know we'll see <laughs> and the blade I'm using in it since I've never used that and these blades here are pretty good but they're mild to me um, these blades ain't nothing like the Derby Extra. If you've never tried these, they're worth it. I actually got these in a giveaway, and I like them. Yeah, it's it is it's it's out there, and this thing, it's real real light though. Um, you can tell it's plastic with just a like a brass insert, and then there's the bottom of it. When you take it out, it just, it actually has got a brass insert there, too. Now, I've been using the Wild West Shaving Company soap for a while now, so this is going to be a little different. I've never used this. My wife actually got me this. Um, got me this. She bought three of them for like $8.99. 
Well, how you doing, Charles? I was just talking about you, buddy. Showing, uh, showing Matt all the brushes. You know, all your brushes that I got from the beginning and to the end. And I don't know if you've seen that, Charles. That's that one when I finished it. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to be sending that out in a couple of days. i got to glue the knot in it. It's just sitting in there. But... I was pretty excited. I got it done. And that, I just love that, man. Joel was showing me, you know, in his Shave of the Day pictures, he's got one that looks pretty similar to this. And he got a hold of them, you know, at Wild West Brush Works, and he asked him, he said, hey, I'm a, a buddy of mine really loves my brush. He said, can you make one that's similar? And he ended up getting it. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm just going straight to it. I'm going to load it. Like I said, I've never used this What the Puck stuff. Hey, man, I like it. I do like it. I like the green, the black, the white, and it's got a little bit of gray in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got gray in it, and, you know, the swirls and stuff in it, that's what I really liked about it. You know, every time, Joel would be like, hey, Scott, what do you want me to shave with today? And, <laughs> you know, he, he messages me about every day asking what I want him to, or what, um, he wants me to, you know what I mean? And I'm like, man, use that green brush. And he's like, I'm tired of using that green brush. <laughs> so... He quit using it for a while, and then um, I do got, and I'm going to be doing this here real soon. These here are 4570. I'm going to grind a couple of these down and put these in um, the ends of my brushes. Look at that. That's a nice shell, buddy. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in the bottom of some of my brushes, too. And I've been working on one for a couple days. It's really out there. We're gonna. I'm not gonna say much about it until it's done, but I think it's gonna be great. I don't know if I'm. I'll probably end up keeping this one because I try to keep the first one of of every kind. That you know, like the wooden ones, and then resin and whatever I just try to keep the first one I'll tell you guys why these boss knots they're great as long as they're set right and deep enough they're good knots I like them they kind of remind me to be honest with you of the Duro knot in my craving shape As long as they're set deeper, that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's got the backbone it's got, it's got the softness it's got. I mean, it's a pretty good knot. I don't know if you guys got it, but I like it. That's why I got two craving shaving brushes with them knots in them. Alright, here we go with this thing. I can't believe that blade gap. That just looks mean. <laughs> Open comb. The only downfall with it, which it's not a downfall to me, but this is a really, really light razor. I don't know. I don't know how light it is, but... Wow, you hear that feedback? That and I like open combs. You know, he, he posted this for sale in one of the groups, and I'm like, uh uh, buddy. What do you want for it? I want it. Because <laughs> I've never tried a slant. And I'll tell you what, 
I'm going to have to try it with my Gillette Silver Blues because I like those, but I put this one in here just because I know it's a mild one, but so far this razor is, it's got a lot of blade feel, but it's also smooth. I am pushing just a little, not much. I'm not just holding the razor up there and letting it go down. I am pushing a little. But that's because it's so light that... I want to make sure it's cutting the hair. That feels nice though. Wow. At least I got something that I can try and get me away from the straight razor for a little bit. <laughs> Everybody was telling me, Scott, you get a straight razor, that's all you're going to shave with. And that's all I've wanted to shave with. But I know I got my DVDs and... I like them too. I'm not just going to set them down, that's for sure. Alright, now. Just going to use what's in there. So far, this is some pretty good soap. Like I said, I've never used it before. But. Smells good. Smells like orange. The scent's not real, real strong, but it's it's strong enough you can smell it and it's staying here. And the slickness and stuff is here. I know it's a triple milled soap. I was uh I got on YouTube and I've not been getting my notifications, but I'm gonna have to go watch my buddy. He uh he's he grew a beard out and he didn't do a shave video, he just did a a talking video about a bowl. I seen that, I started watching it even now. I come over in here and got over here. Um Flash Boredom. I don't know if you guys watch him or not. He's a pretty good guy. I try to watch all of his when he goes and makes a video. Because I know he watches mine. He always comments and talks to me. And one of my videos, I waited till the end of the video to say something. And I, I said in the end of my video, I was like, if you watch this to the end, comment something. <laughs> and he was the one that commented. Man, I watched it. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's a pretty good guy. And I can't wait until the Lotus Eater soap gets released. If you guys aren't part of our Facebook group, Craving Shaving, come join us. I'm pretty sure it'll be posted in there when it comes available. I don't know if you're still in here, Charles, but he'd know more about it than I would. Oh, yeah. You can really feel the blade on this. Yeah, is uh, is Jake gonna post it in Craving Shaving about the soap when it's released? I mean, I kind of hope he would. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird if he didn't. He's probably getting ready for work right now, I'd say.
But Matthew, if you're still in here, bud, um, Charles, the one that's popping up, he's in our group. He's the one that got the craving shaving. I was talking to you about his brushes and stuff earlier. Um, feel free to ask him any questions you want to, man. He'll help you. And if you want to see more pictures than what's, you know, he's got on there, I'm sure he'll send you, you know, a couple more pictures or whatever, maybe a short video. Um, I was so happy, man, when I got when I got this one. He actually shocked me because he, he held it down and, you know, he was taking a video of it. And I was like, wow, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> I gotta have it. So far, that seems to be a pretty good razor. Even though it's light, I like it. Yeah, he. Pretty sure he's getting ready to do another drop. Pretty sure. I know he was working on him the other day, like like a crazy man. <laughs> I keep trying to get this ladder to where I want it. I'm so used to using the Wild West Shaving Company soap. It's like I can't... I just can't get this right. Not the way I want it to. I know it's not the soap. I just ain't doing something right. There we go. This is pretty good soap, though. better than some of them I've tried, anyhow. It's cheap. I think my wife, I think I'm pretty sure it was $8.99 what she did for this. And, uh, oh man, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to get them back up. What's going on there? Okay, I have the blue bubble shop in here. Well, the blue barber shop one I had, but it's actually going to Eddie. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. And I know they, my wife got this one off Italian Barber, and it was three of these. The orange, the lime, and the barber shop. All three of them for $8.99. You can't beat that. I mean, not for three things of soap. I'm not positive how much is in them. Let's see here. 3.5 ounces in each one. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I mean... Yeah, well, Eddie, you're going to be getting another one. I can say that the slickness on this is pretty good too. Not too bad. And if you like orange scent, it's there. It is pretty good. I mean, for $8.99 for three, you can't go wrong. No, I didn't. <laughs> I must have missed that one. What were you talking about live round? Uh, I got these. <laughs> Actually, I went to a friend of mine's and shot this the other day, and let me tell you, talk about a one with a kick, this one's got a kick. <laughs> yeah, I might add a live one to myself, but I don't know if I would show them to anybody like that. That might be like a, I guess I could do it and just write a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt yourself, that's your own bro. It's a fault, not mine.
so far it's pretty good. I like this razor. Joel, buddy, I know you're asleep, but I know you're going to watch this. And I don't know what you didn't like about this, man. Unless you just didn't like that it was had a lot of blade fill, but it's not. I don't find it. I mean, it's, it's real efficient. I don't find it like, I guess some people call it aggressive. I don't see that in it. I mean, it, it is a little, but it's not, it's not too bad. But, who am I to tell? Because I, I wanted an R41 and finally got one, and I was like, that's supposed to be aggressive? <laughs> But my shave with my Harley is a little bit aggressive, I guess you'd say. Broken glass bottle. Yeah. If it was sharp enough, I probably would. <laughs> I did shave with um, this here the other night. Got it all. I didn't even clean it off after I shaved with it. I cleaned off my razor, but not this. This is a, a Dexter. I don't know if you can see that on the end of it. It kind of looks like a straight razor. <laughs> it actually didn't do too bad. Shaved with that, and I shaved with my paint scraper. Well, that gave me a pretty good shave. Joel, I do appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate you selling me the razor and giving me the brush for Christmas. And like I said, he gave me this a while back. Um, I'm going to throw some good old witch hazel on here. I don't have none of that expensive stuff. Witch hazel, witch hazel is the way I look at it. Unless you want to smell good smelling witch hazel. But I thought that's what the aftershave was for. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. But I'm not using my Allen block because it just, it ain't worth it. Not my Allen block anyway. I need to give me another one. Musk. That feels good. You can really feel it. I didn't get a lot of stinging. I know I got hit from here to here. I actually caught my ear on it too. Pipe had fell and hit me. Paid a buck for what? Good night, Charles. You have a good one, buddy. And I'm not done with it. I started, I did the tip of it and got that sanded down and all ready to go. And I didn't, uh, I started working on another one. Actually, I got this one at Walmart too for the big one. And I think it was $3 or something, 16 fluid ounces. That ain't too bad. I like it. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use for a bomb. No, I'm not using it. I ain't using a bomb tonight. That'll be alright. It'll be good to go. But, if you've not tried this, it's not bad. Cheap. Pretty decent. And I'm going to get off of here. I'll be going live from now on. I'm not doing no recording nothing and posting it. it takes too long. It takes an hour or two to even get it in my editor just to put my picture at the front of it. 
and that's all I do. And then it takes me three hours to load it, and sometimes it airs out. I can't even load it. So if I can go on live, it's good to go. But all right, you guys have a good one, and I'm out. Well, maybe.